Friends, let us observe this very interesting surgery. This is a cataract with coloboma iris. The patient is young, about 45 years old, a male patient. I have taken up this case for surgery. The main incision has been made. Now, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, this is air bubble. My plan is to stain the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye. And here goes the dye underneath the air bubble. This is adrenaline. And now, the dye is washed out. And then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, capsular excess. A uterata forceps is being used for capsular excess. And it is done. The size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. And now, hydro dissection is done with 27 gauze cannula and bases. Everything is fine till now. And now is the time to manage the nucleus. The FECO needle goes with its bevel down. Now, before that, this is uh, division of the nucleus with the help of this pre chopper. <clears throat> I am not sure whether I have made the rent at this time itself, probably not. No. I am going to divide each heminucleus with vacuum and the ball tipped chopper. The side port was too far, so I made another side port here. And this heminucleus is being emulsified. It's done, no problem till now. Here, I can see that there is a big rent. Still, the posterior capsule is the anterior vitreous antihyaloid membrane is intact, and uh, I have managed the nucleus now before coming out. I am going to inject visco and as I start injecting visco, the irrigation is put off. Let me repeat, as you start injecting visco, put off the irrigation. And now dry aspiration of the cortex with the help of this 27 gauze, 23 gauze Simco cannula. Dry aspiration means there is no irrigation, only aspiration. There is some fluid in the syringe and every time as we come out and flush it out so that we can aspirate fresh cortical matter. Yes, the Cortex is clean. There is a small nuclear piece. It is removed. And now is the time to enlarge the main wound because I am going to use the three-piece lens of Orolab. Uh, since uh, multi-piece lens is uh, having very short supply, and we are going to use Orolab's 
three piece lens. The lens is very good, but the cartridge is very wide and we have to enlarge the main wound to about 3.75 millimeter, almost 4 millimeter. And now here goes the lens. The leading haptic is placed over the iris. Never try to place it on these in the sulcus because if you do that, suddenly the haptic may go in the vitreous cavity and the anti haloid membrane is gone. And now the leading, leading haptic is placed in the sulcus and then the trailing haptic is uh, held with uh, Macpherson's forceps and it is placed in the sulcus. So, both the haptics are in the sulcus, but I have some doubt that the leading haptic is it in the sulcus. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated because lot of visco was there and it causes some hindrance in visibility. Now, I, my plan is to uh, rotate the haptics uh, and be sure that it is in the sulcus. This haptic is brought out over the iris and again it is placed in the sulcus. Now, I am sure that the intraocular lens is placed in the sulcus. And now, the visco that is filling up the anterior chamber is removed. I do not uh, use irrigation from the aspirating port in this case, just irrigation and aspiration goes together so that the antihyloid membrane is not ruptured. There is no vitreous prolapse I am sure, but I will confirm it at the end. The rexis is such that the optic capture is difficult in this case, but it is fine. If the lens is in the sulcus, uh, even if we cannot do optic capture, the centration of the lens will be very good and it will be very stable and no problem at all. So, if, if we cannot do optic capture in some cases, uh, it is ok. I am injecting some pilocarpine at this time, so that the people constricts and I become sure that the antihyloid membrane is intact. So, the this is closer of the side port. two side ports in fact in on the left side. One very small side port which I made later for introduction of the chopper because the other side port is quite far. It was about um, 5 clock hours away from the main wound. Yes, I just touch touched the iris with a Sinsky hook and now it is the pe uh, iris people has constricted and it is ok. There is coloboma, so we cannot get the iris at 5 uh, at 7 o'clock. This is the left eye of the patient. Now, irrigation and aspiration goes together for some time and now is the time to check whether any vitreous strand is there anywhere. So, here goes the triamcinolone acetate 
and I use the Simco to clean it out and there is no vitreous strand. I was sure and now it is confirmed that there is, there is no vitreous strands in the anterior chamber. This looks fine. We are towards the end of the surgery. The antechamber is nicely formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.